I'm very much honored to be here and uh, to be given a chance to talk about uh, Professor Emma Ostrom, <laughs> the greatest uh, mind I know. But uh, I feel that I don't deserve this task because there are many people who are personally closer to uh, Professor Ostrom and know her better. And there are many people who are uh, who have a much deeper understanding of her work than myself. So uh, after a little thinking, I decided to talk about how I am uh, personally and academically indebted to her because uh, her work has been. Uh, extremely encouraged, the source of my extreme encouragement to me. I'm a social psychologist who is working on the issue of uh, uh, trust and cooperation in social dilemmas. And as you may know, many uh, social psychologists are working in this area, uh, issue of cooperation in social dilemmas. But I have been uh, kind of feeling uh, uh, alone in this field, uh, working with uh, my colleagues, psychology colleagues, because what they are interested in are uh, mostly individual traits and dispositions that makes uh, make uh, individuals behave cooperatively, such as uh, personal preferences, uh, social preferences, and um, values. I was a little different from them, and I was uh, interested in how people organize themselves to create a solution to the social dilemma's problem. You know, this is what uh, Professor Ostrom has been working on for many years. And every time I read her work, I felt I'm not alone. So I could keep uh, working on my uh, research. In 1986, I published the first experimental study of punishment. In a social dilemma. And the reason why I studied uh, uh, punishment is because I wanted to uh, <coughs> study about the way people organize uh, themselves. And uh, I thought that uh, people contribute, I, I studied how people contribute to establishing a punishment system as a means through which people themselves provide a solution to a social dilemma problem. And a few years later, uh, Professor Ostrom conducted uh, another experiment on punishment and showed that the punishment is most effective when people themselves organize it. But the imposed sanctions from outside can be a harm rather than beneficial. And following the years, uh, I have been uh, trying to develop an argument that many of the psychological differences across cultures, that uh, cultural psychologists and cross-cultural psychologists are studying, can be understood as reflections of the instrument institutional arrangement people in different cultures create to solve the social order problem. And as a, as a step working toward this uh, goal, I collaborated with uh, Lynn on uh, cross-cultural study of uh, reciprocity, trust, and the sense of control. Together with uh, Jim Walker and Hoko Hayashi, a former student of mine who was spending uh, 
uh, postdoc doctoral researchership at Indiana at the time. And later I uh, collaborated with a uh, former student of Ali, uh, Kisak Cho, who is a uh, Korean and uh, later became a spokesperson uh, for public relations in President Ron Hyun's office. She appeared, always appeared on uh, Korean TV. And uh, few years, a few weeks ago, I met Chisak uh, and talked about Lin, uh, and uh, she told me how encouraging she was when she was a uh, graduate student at Indiana. Uh, recently, the role of punishment as a means to promote cooperation uh, in social dramas have, been, uh, wide, have become widely recognized by researchers in various areas, including economics and uh, biology. This happened since uh, Ernst Fair and Simon Gapter published uh, their work on pun punishment in 2000. And uh, Fair and uh, Fischbacher published a review piece in Nature in 2003. I was a bit disappointed by this move by Ernst Fair and his group because uh, they are trying to get back into individual preferences such as uh, individual, individual preferences for uh, individual budget and strong responsibility. And they argue that uh, humans have evolutionary based preferences to punish non-violators <coughs> based on the group selection model of evolution. I jokingly call this a uh, long range model of human cooperation. <coughs> And uh, the reason why I was uh, so disappointed by uh, the work is that they do not pay much attention, sufficient attention, to the fact that uh, human punishment is embedded in a larger effort by uh, people who face a social dilemma problem to organize and to produce, uh, provide, uh, create a solution to it. Look at this beautiful forest. I don't think a uh, ranger can protect it. <laughs> People who organize themselves and try to control themselves and uh, non-violate it. And I think uh, Lenin would agree on this. <laughs> <laughs>